Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to some more Darkest Dungeon. We are set to embark. We are going to uh, the Cove this time to do a medium veteran level 3 dungeon. Uh, rewards Commander's Orders, which is nothing fantastic. Pretty decent, but I probably will just end selling it. Some portraits and some gold. Um, and then we have a Bounty Hunter in the front this time. I switched it up so he has Uppercut, as well as Collect Bounty, Finish Him, and Mark for Death. Uh, he's got a Dismas' Head and a Swift Cloak. So he's got some good speed, a little less health, but he's got quite a bit to begin with, so should be fine. And we have an Abomination, somebody I don't use very often. I put him in the second position. Most of his stuff can be done. In fact, all of it can be done from the second position. Um, and he's got the Sun Ring and Lock of Fury, which gives him 10 damage and 3 speed at the um, expense of 10 hit points. It's pretty damn good. Uh, he's got a speed of 11. Everybody on this team is pretty fast. I think the slowest one is the Arbalist at this point. Uh, the Grave Robber has the Sun Ring and Raider's Talisman, just as before. Increase her damage, give her some more speed, trap disarm chance, scouting chance, all that good stuff. And uh, our Arbalist has the Ancestor's Candle and a Swift Cloak that'll give her a plus four speed, so she actually has eight, as long as the torch is above 50. So the lowest speed we have is eight. Um, in fact, her and the Bounty Hunter are tied for speed. So we have uh, we have some quick people. She also does have battlefield bandage as well, so she will be able to bandage people up. Let's go over here. I don't know if I did this, but let's make sure. Nope, I did not. All right. So which ones are she is she using? Is she gonna be able to use pick to the face from her position? Let's check that actually. Uh, yes, yeah, she will. Yeah, this seems fine. Okay. So let's go back. Let's make sure everybody's skills are nice and maxed out. So pick to the face, flashing daggers, thrown dagger, and poison dart. And then for her, yep, that's all good. Um, him, he'll need them all, unfortunately, because he pretty much uses half of them half the time, half of them the other half. Talpiet has a decent amount of stress, unfortunately. It's kind of a problem, but it hopefully shouldn't be too big of an issue. We'll see. Um, I might have to use him for... I might have to do stress healing for him. Alright, and then we'll check... Uh, let's check weapons as well. Make sure the weapons are good. We can afford to, so we should. Anytime we can afford to uh, level things up, we should definitely do so. Alright, we're down to 14,000. So that's why we need to continuously have money. <laughs> that's a real important part of this whole scheme. Alright, and I think everybody's good. So we'll go ahead and provision. We are taking care of... Protective wards, apparently. Was not paying attention to that, apparently. That's a thing that we're doing, so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, let's get all these uh, two bandages, two herbs, two holy waters, and a stack and a half of torches. That's pretty standard for me. And we're good to go. Let's see how the cove treats us. I should have brought a little bit more medicinal herbs, I just remembered, but it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. All right, we are in the middle. That sucks. Uh, I guess we'll go this way. Yeah, his stress is quite high. The one good thing is that we do have a virtue chance increase for this quest. So, I mean, if, if it does get to 100, we may get lucky. Um, but it's not guaranteed, obviously. So, I think it says right here. Is there, a, no, it doesn't say. All right, well, I, I think the chance is very low still, even with the 15%. But it's better than before, so that's good. Alright, we have a couple curios in an empty room. Let's continue onwards. Another empty crate. Alright. Lots of empty crates here. Alright, everything's empty. We just got all the empty things. Um, that's not going to help us. <laughs> we need things that are not empty. Another scout is good. Got a hallway battle. Hopefully it's not really bad. Okay, that's two thralls. It's kind of bad, not great, but could be worse. Pick to the face. Throne Dagger has a higher crit chance, a much higher crit chance. So we'll go ahead and do that one. All right, well, that was great. Good job. Good job. Um, Beast Bile's not bad. Four, four points per round. Transform is pretty good, too, because we can do Rake, I believe it is. Um, let me see here. Yeah, Rake. 
Um, and he does it make him damage itself? 22 plus 22 damage from skill rake self. All right, I think rake might hurt himself. <laughs> I don't know. Is this fight worth it? Yes, I think it is. These guys can blow up the revenge. I don't really want the revenge. So let's. All right. Well, oh, it increases his damage. Okay, that's much better. I really wish you would have got at least one of the kills, unfortunately, but looks like decimated. Hopefully, we'll go first. Okay, blind fire. Yeah, just blind fire. Destroy. That'll work, and we'll be able to kill him before the revenge kicks off. He'll be able to do gargling guard. Yeah, and we dodged it. Good. Okay, and I think we'll blind fire again. <laughs> As the fiend falls, Pretty straightforward stuff there. A faint hope blossoms. Protective collar for the Houndmaster. That's a good one. Um, I'll actually grab that and this. There we go. And let's keep going. The big thing that I have to worry about right now is stress. Stress is not doing great. 62 is pretty high to start. Hey, we... Keep getting these scouts, though. It's nice. I, I like seeing what's going on ahead of me. And there's a secret room and a quest location. Two quest locations. Okay. Uh, it doesn't say if there's fights. A lot of traps on the way. But I'm not entirely sure about fights. Oh, okay. He's... He likes money. What's that? What's that called? Stop is only the first test. Plutomania. Now it must be carried home. Yeah, he's got manic for money. Good old Plutomania, so that's a thing. Use two torches. Take that stack of gold. Um, I think we're just going to have to drop the crests, honestly. Yeah, let's just drop the crests. We'll Another use some of, a bunch of these items soon. Another misfortune. Alright, here we go. Okay. Pretty straightforward fight. The Oracle's a pain in the butt. Want to get rid of him. Absolution is a self-stress heal. Mm. I think Blight here is a good idea. Or Manacles. Manacles to stun one of the damage dealers is not a terrible idea. He's the fastest, but I can't stop him. Um, let's the farther back one. Stun him. Thrown Dagger could kill him. Um... Flashing daggers. No. I want to make sure he's dead, but this isn't guaranteed. But this is pretty much a guarantee. It's a 10% chance to miss. So, I kind of should feel like I should get the kill over the damage. <clears throat> Might just the have offensive. to take on the Eldritch. Um, unless the sniper shot can do it. And it could. Let's try. Alright, that's minimum damage. That's the opposite of, of could. Um, and from here, I think we'll upcut this guy. Stop the damage through, from coming through. I figured he'd do stress wave. At least he picked a decent target. Kind of spread the stress out. And he's going to be guarded. Okay. Well, I can stun him. I will. I'll stun him. I'll take care of that, that block. Stress wave on him is not good. We don't want him to have stress. Holy crap. Good dodge from the grave robber. Kill him. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Thank you. Um, shoot him? Yeah. Press this advantage. Good stuff. Give them no quarter. And I think we'll finish him. Yeah. It's about the best we can do with his what, 75 protection? Yeah. Once that protection buff goes away, it'll be a little easier to handle him. Um, just try and stun him again, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Pick to the face. Nah. We'll blight him. And... Nobody really needs a heal. Just blind fire. What we need is a stress heal. That's what we need. Really dying for a stress heal.
All right, that's pretty good. Eight damage for five rounds. He's definitely going to die at some point. Um, let's go ahead and heal. All right, that'll do it. It's a little stress relief. And finish him. No, we'll do uh, collect bounty. All right, it looks like they're the same, actually. I think collect bounty has a higher, yeah, higher crit chance. That'll be a kill, right? Yeah, that'll be the kill. Okay. Um, I guess just self-stress heal. Why not? Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Okay, I'll use the torch. I want the busts. In fact, I'll drop this little tiny stack of gold for the busts. I want the ruby as well, but I don't see much that I can use on it. Um, this is one of the quest items. I really do want the ruby. That's a lot of money to just toss. Let's use the holy waters. Take the ruby. And uh, use one of these. The ward is lit. And we got another scout. Good. A fairly large one. We got another quest location, a couple traps. I think he has a decent trap chance, so we might use him for the traps. Probably another fight in that room as well. Yeah, let's keep going. Not quite ready to, uh, medicinal herbs. I kind of want to save those. I'll use one. Yeah, I'll use the one. Wow, that was a lot of shovels. Jeez. Um, the jade and the citrine are the same price, so it's kind of either or. I'll take the gold instead. All right. What's your stress? Or yeah, there we go. 100% disarm. Let's try and get your stress down a little bit. And we'll ignore that for now, the uh, the secret room. We'll use that here later. Let's keep going. Okay, that's an Uka Crusher. All right, we got a surprise. We need to get rid of these wide mouths as quick as possible. Um, I think a thrown dagger. Please hit harder. Please hit harder. Just, just a little. You could have killed. So yeah, we're hitting like minimal damage right now. All right, there's one down. Destroy them all. Oh come on! Give me a freaking break. Two hits and still has health. It's nonsense. Hit a little harder, please. Good dodge. Beautiful dodge. Her accuracy is 123. That's nuts. Um, yeah. Kill him. Alright, so all we have left is the Crusher. We can keep him stunned, if possible. At least try. There we go. And with that, we can, uh... Let's mark him. As well. She can't do a sniper shot from that position, though. Which is real unfortunate. But what it'll do is it'll lower his protection. And then I can blind fire. Cause he's got quite a bit of protection. Probably not gonna be able to stun him again. So let's, let's keep the blind fire up. Beautiful. His speed is not very high either, so that's also good. Um, damage versus marked. Yeah. Let's just keep damaging him as much as we can. Um, yeah, let's try. I mean, it's not gonna matter. Yeah. It's like a 9% chance. Click bounty. 11 to 24. Come on, kill. Oh, it's almost minimum damage. All right. Okay, that's beautiful. The dodges. The clutch dodges. Prodigious size alone does no bleed. Not the sharpened blade. No bleed from that. Beautiful. Um, okay, so we have more crests. I do want crests still as well. I don't have much to drop for it, though. I'm not going to drop the like bandages or shovels or anything like that. I kind of need those. Can't really drop the food or, or use it for that matter. I'm really just kind of, I'm going to have to drop these. I'm just going to have to keep doing this. Getting rid of these, these quest items. All right, let's go up to the front, the top of this. Oh, you, I, you know what? You deserve that. All right, at least you resisted it. Don't be stupid, man. Um, this is more medicinal herbs. I, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to use all med medicinal herbs. So we'll, we'll go to the end of this and turn around. That's half the dungeon. The secret door, I do want to collect the stuff from it. But I really don't have much space. Hmm. Do I want to wait to camp? I might have to just 
bounce, like, double back a really long distance to get this. And I, you know what? I'm okay with that. Am I? Am I okay with that? I have a chance of a lot of fights on the way. From hallway fights. Yeah, let's do it. I might end up fighting a collector or something stupid. If that is the case, then, you know, I'll just end up with a lot of money. Hopefully. <laughs> not, not a lot of dying. Uh, not dying is, is an important part of my strategy. So, let's keep that, let's keep that at the forefront. But I think I will walk all the way back to our starting point and, uh, and camp. Alright, that'll work. The other thing I need to be concerned about is food. Can't, can't let myself run out of food, either. On the other hand, this trap is real nice. Definitely use some of the stress heal on that. Um, the focus, I think, is going to be mainly stress relief. I kind of now am wishing that I had collected that secret room. It is so far. It is so, it is so far. Yeah, this, this is a problem. You know what? That sucks. I may not be able to get to that secret room again. And that was that was just dumb on my part. <laughs> um, in fact, a I can't do a feast a now. A chance to steal oneself against the Jeez. coming horrors. That's a real problem. Um, what do I want to do here? Psych up is real good. Just a plus 25 damage boost. Um, marching plan is pretty good. We don't have a whole lot of, like, major stress relief, unfortunately. I think, uh, doing those two is a good idea. We'll encourage him. We'll encourage him again. And, uh, nobody has disease. We don't have any wounds to heal. Um, and encourage. I think that's what we'll do. That's pretty good. Alright. What do we got? Be found in the most tenebrous corners of not bad. Place. Not bad. Also, not terrible. We can still do a lot from here. Um, uh, finish him on hers. Probably a good use of this turn. Yeah. Very low damage. We've been hitting real, real weak, which is unfortunate. There's the kill, at least. Um, he's got a self-stress heal. He's gonna have to move forward. All right, that hurts really bad. Jeez, what the hell, man. Uh, all right. Snap a shot on him. Pick to the face on him. Um, stun him. We need to heal a little bit. Um, mark him, I guess. Or uppercut him. Yeah, sure. We'll just uppercut him to the back line. <laughs> He'll have to stumbling scratch from there. Get some heals off. At least heal a little bit. Hopefully she can get in two heals. That'd be good. All right. Well, that works. Quakes. Foolish horrors, brought low and driven into the mud. Okay, so we didn't. We might not be able to get our uh, our secret room. Unfortunately, I just don't have enough food. I feel to really make the the trip back. So. We did get a little bit of food here, though, so we will at least be able to go on further. But yeah, it, I don't know. Unless unless we end up with a lot more food, we're probably not going to be able to head backwards. The light, the promise of safety. All right, good stun. Flashing daggers is actually pretty good here. Yep, that'll do it. Damn, that was real good damage. Please stop hitting him. Spread the damage out. Ow. God, these guys hurt, hit so damn hard. Um, kill him. Obliterated. All right, we need some healing. Do a little bit of healing. Hopefully we can get a stun off. There we go. 
Maybe we'll be able to heal some more. Um, yeah, poison him as well. All right, good. Um, and just mark him. All right, he's got a lot of debuffs now. All right, keep healing. One more, one more heal would be real nice, but it's not necessary at this point. I feel a little bit more comfortable now. Um, self heal. And he's dead. Precision and power. Uh, mark him again. And if we if we can move before him, which is unlikely, uh, yes, then heal him. Beautiful. That was good use. Good use of our turn. All right, let's drop the citrine in place of those. I want the busts as well. Um, and I'll actually drop the onyx for the busts. So as I realized recently, I still need them. All right, nothing going on here. No scout either. It's unfortunate. Hopefully we find some more food. I'd feel real good if we just had at least an entire stack of food on the way back would be real nice. That trap's unfortunate. Carelessness will find no clemency. Yeah, there goes my last place. herb. I can't have that minus 20 dodge BS. I'm really glad I don't have it now with the hookah crusher. Dodging was the only thing that kept us safe last time. Alright, stunned some of the damage. Um Throne Dagger on the back line. No, let's yeah. He can't attack yet anyway. So we'll try and focus down this guy. Um, let's mark him. Try and relieve some of his protection. And sniper shot to that guy. Come on! One freaking health. I'm so sick and tired of that crap. Stop leaving with one health. Alright, here we go. Glad I have some bandages. Resist? Yes, good resist. If we can continue to resist those, we'll be okay. Um... Okay, minimum damage. This has been a fun time. Thank you. Please get the kills. Finish the job. <laughs> Jeez. Collect bounty. Pretty good. Ouch. Wee! <laughs> you flying all the way to the back. At least he resists the stun, but I don't know if, what he can do from back there. Um, thrown dagger I can't hit with. Yeah, increased damage for smart, still minimum damage. We're having a real hard time figuring out how to do damage to people. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm going to have to transform here. I need to be able to hit. And we'll, I think we'll slam. Slam? 713. No, is it rage? It's rage, yeah. All right, very low damage. And he can't do anything from back there, so let's move him up. And she can fire at him. 21 damage is pretty good. I think she should heal. Let's try and heal him up. Tidal slam again. Resisted all the things. That's real good. All right, his stress is going, starting to go up, but it'll still be okay. He's got a lot. He's got very little stress as it is, so... Strike. Beautiful. Left with one health. Hopefully, uh, no. Alright, well, you know what? You mark. Because we we need, even if I have to take a bleed, we need the bandage. I need to keep his health up. He's got fairly low health. Another title slam. Alright. Okay, good. He resisted. I think from here, let's move forward. Now that he's... I'm going to transform him back, because he'll heal himself as well as get stress heal. And then he can absolution. Stress him, heal himself even more. And you can block. The bigger the Pretty beast, good. The greater the glory. Not bad. Um, holy water. Why not? Let's use it there, I guess. Um, it's good. Finally, we got a scout. Jeez. Where is our quest item? Right, and we're gonna stress relieve our bounty hunter again with this. Good stuff. Not too bad. We're doing okay. Considering we don't have a healer, the uh, the arbalist has been.
doing good work trying to keep us alive. And another scout. Beautiful. Alright, not much else going on. Looks like this last one is like going to be in the last room, which is real unfortunate. Alright. You... Uh, we still have a speed debuff. Oh yeah, that's, that's medicinal herbs. Oh well. There's a hunger proc. Yeah, I don't see us going backwards. Unfortunately. Um, which, I mean, you know, it sucks, but we still have some decent money. Alright, where, where is that freaking quest item? There it is. We're gonna have to go through two fights to get to it. Alright, I tried to use a torch in time, but didn't didn't happen. There we go. Uh, let's done here. A decisive pummeling. Thank you. That's a good start. Throne dagger. He's got high protection. Real high protection. Um, let's... We could poison him. That's probably not terrible, actually. Uh, or we could do flashy daggers. Do some damage to both. Let's do that. Because this thing is a pain in the butt to kill. Um, you focus damage on him. Alright, there's that going off. Um, guess we'll sniper shot him. Or blind fire, just kind of pick a target. Yeah, let's blind fire. There we go. She gets a speed buff from that, I believe. Yeah, definitely. Huge one. And Brian, good dodge. Alright, he's not likely to stun again. Do I want to transform? Mm, no, I'm just going to keep whacking him with manacles. He's not going to stun, but it's damage. Alright, there we go. Starting to get that one down now. Uh, uppercut. <clears throat> collect bounty. Yeah, let's collect bounty on this guy. Wow. With impunity. But he didn't do that the first time. Alright, this guy's getting an attack off, unfortunately. Um, we'll pick to the face. Well, no, we'll, we'll throw a dagger. There we go. Blow. He'll get one hit. Probably rend. Yeah. Alright, we dodged it. Beautiful. Okay. That's working really well. Monstrous Death by medical. has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. Okay, um, the fish carcass, can we use anything other than medicinal herbs? No. Alright, well I'm not taking a chance of disease or anything like that, so... Just continue on. We're almost to the end. Another uber crusher. Jeez. I've been throwing these uber crushers at us like crazy lately. 7 to 17. All right, eight. Beautiful. Not quite minimum damage. There we go. Let's get rid of that guy. If I can stun the damage dealer, that'd be good. Or, you know, if I could have hit him, that would have been good too, but let's just stun him. We have bandages, so we'll take the bandage hit from the Uka Crusher. We'll take the, uh, the bleed. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. Yep, there it is. Eight damage per three rounds. That's real bad. Go ahead and use a bandage. And we'll do an absolution. So screw you. You don't bleed me. There we go. And you're going to uppercut him. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye. And you're going to shoot him. Good stuff. Way back there now. Just start throwing stuff at him. I don't think the stun's gonna work, but it's worth a try. Um, I can finish him from here. Can't collect bounty. Just keep doing damage. Trying to break through his armor. Hey, maximum damage. That's a lot better. You can still arterial pinch from the back line. That's nuts. There we go. Beautiful. And that'll help with the finish him. And max damage. Very good. And dead. A cursed champion falls. Very good. No complaints there. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Don't have much space. Got two food left. Let's just take a citrine. And use a torch. As take a jade. Light gains purchase. 
Spirits are lifted, and purpose is oh. made clear. It's unlocked. Contents are yours. Nice. Oh, I can't collect either one of those. Okay, um, goodbye Citrina Jade. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the quest side. Bloop. And that's that. Uh, let's take a look ahead. What's ahead? A fight. Eh. Don't want it. We got a lot of busts. And a lot of crests, too. Decent amount of money. Could have had a lot more if I would have been able to do that secret room, but... I'm still pretty content with what we got. I didn't see much incentive. Like, we had two food, and we would have had to cross the entire dungeon. There's no way I would have had enough, enough to do that. Uh, weapon Tinker is pretty cool. Last gasp, what did he get rid of? Ugh, he got rid of a tactician? That sucks. Oh well. That's pretty good still. At least it's still positive. The frothing waters subside. The advantage is ours. Alright, we are doing quite well. Everybody's level 3 and above. Uh, we have another Vestal. I have plenty of Vestals though. They're all really high level too. Um, but we do have busts, so we can start in doing an experienced recruits. I think I'm going to do that right now, actually. Um, let's just trade two portraits for it. There we go. Experienced recruits. Now we'll have up to level three, I believe. I think that's how that works. And what else? Is there anything else we can do? What do these require? More busts. Okay. And what about the, uh, the Abbey? More busts. Okay, so we definitely need busts now. We're still on busts and, and crests. So, things to keep in mind. I haven't really done anything with the tavern. Don't ever really use the tavern. I find the tavern to just have too many negative sides to it to make it justifiable for me. Um, a leper would be nice, but we have nobody to level him with. We would have to do those things where we can, like, bring people... I guess we could... Can we bring higher level people to lower level dungeons? Let's see. If I go here... Yeah, they don't They don't want to do it. That's what I thought. Hmm. Not really sure how that works. I guess I would have to bring him to tougher dungeons, which would actually be really super dangerous. That's when you would want a... Uh, sort by rarity. Do we have one? No, I'm pretty sure we, we lost that run. Yeah, I wanted to see if we had the ability to uh, level people up quicker. There's that one trinket that does that, but we don't. Alas. Oh well. well that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. I've been Chaotic Order, and I will see you next time.